In this tutorial, I'm going to share with you some steps to create twisted wire. I'm using 18 gauge wire and I'm going to start with a piece that's about six inches long. You will need two tools to complete this little tutorial. First, you're going to need a pair of round nose pliers and a pair of needle nose pliers. We're going to start with our round nose pliers and gripping the wire towards the center, I'm just going to lift the two sides up and over so they crisscross. I'm going to pull each of these sides of the wire down and then wiggle my tool out. I am left with a piece of wire that's almost straight with a little loop in it. Next, to get myself ready to do the twist, I'm going to bend each of these legs of wire in so they make an approximately 90 degree angle. If you're having trouble seeing what a 90 degree angle looks like, you can always grab a spare piece of paper or board and check your angle against the corner of your board. So now that I'm ready to begin my actual twist, I'm going to switch to my needle nose plier. The needle nose plier will allow me to grip that loop that I made really securely so things don't wiggle around as I'm trying to do the twist. As I do my twist, I'm going to try to use the same position for my hands each and every time. That will ensure that the wire twists consistently and evenly. So I'm going to use my thumb underneath and my forefinger on top of the wire. And all I'm going to do is kind of push up with my thumb and push down with my finger at the same time and kind of lift my hand up and around. And I'm going to stop when this wire gets on the side closest to me and this wire is on the side furthest away. So I'm not going to do more than like one half turn at, at, at a time. So when I'm ready, I'm just going to start pushing and twisting that wire and stop. Before I move on to do my next revolution, I just want to again confirm that these um, legs of my wire are still at that 90 degree angle. So each and every time I'm going to use the same hand position and before I do the next revolution, I'm just going to adjust the legs of my wire accordingly just to make sure they maintain that 90 degree angle. I'm going to try to hold my hands close to where the wire twist is happening. If you're holding way out here, you're going to get a really loose twist. If you want it to stay tight, hold close to the wire. And again, each and every time, I'm just going to go in the same position, check that I have a nice 90 degree angle before I move on. If your wire is getting wider or narrower, you want to stop between each revolution so you can fix it before you move on. This is going to ensure a really tight and even twist the entire length of your wire. What you do want to kind of be careful of is to make sure that as you're doing your twist that this twist part is kind of coming out directly from the corner. If this twist were happening out here or down here, what is really going on is that you would actually be more wrapping the wire versus twisting it. So you just want to make sure that these 90 degree angles are kind of being bisected with this twist that's happening right in the middle. And again, each time I'm just stopping to adjust my wire before moving on. And if I maintain the same kind of technique, I will have a nice evenly twisted wire that I can then use to create a ring or other kind of accents on my jewelry pieces. And it should look something like that when you're done. 